Even if this fucking rap shit don't pay I'ma start selling drugs around my way Killing my old people in the USG Shit, they gon' get it from somebody I'd rather it be me Side, they can't tax dirty money And you can't trust nobody Nobody, no one, no one Scorpion And I'll probably bite the bullet Cause I live by the country Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I'm your host, Rabina Rastaban, a.k.a. The Realist Astrologer. And you guessed it, tonight is the Dark Side of Zodiac recap series, Scorpio edition. So this is going to be intense. So uh, I wanted to uh, first get started with uh, an explanation regarding my inspiration for the Dark Side of Zodiac series before I get into the comments. So... Um, I just wanted to play a video, just a real snippet of a video, just uh, explaining my inspiration for uh, this Dark Sided Zodiac series. So this uh, occurred um, about last year before I started putting out the Dark Sided Zodiac series uh, recap. And I was watching a video clip of that show, uh, Trading Spouses. And there was this woman on there. Some of you guys might have seen this episode. But uh, there's this woman on there, and she was dubbed the God Warrior, or she dubbed herself the God Warrior. And basically, she's just going off about, because basically she traded uh, spouses with this woman that was into astrology and tarot. Basically, this woman that was really spiritual, and she was into magic and all that stuff. I think she was a Wiccan or whatever. So I just wanted to play uh, a clip of this woman going off. And this was the inspiration for my Dark Side of Zodiac series. So here we go. Taking a long time to load. Okay, here we go. She's not a Christian! She's, she's tampering in doubt, that is stuff! Yes, yes, she did! The entire house is dark sided. It's dark sided too! <laughs> this is Tainted! I don't know it! Oh my god, Warrior! Get out! Gargoyle! Slag it! Everything's ungodly! Dark Savage! Get the hell out of my house! In Jesus' name, I pray! Did you get hypnotized, Bar? You did come to my mind. A solstice party! Because they only believe in the moon and the gods and the this and the that! Everything I've been saying and preaching and praying and saying, tarot cards and astrology and witch books and... Because I'm the warrior. I ask all the questions. Take your money. Take whatever you got. And get out of my house. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I pray. They will be on my prayer list for the day I die. Every dark-sided person get out of my house. If you believe in Jesus, you can stay here. Dark-sided. Dark-sided psychic. All the things. Terror card readings. And yeah. prayer warrior. Okay. They put me on the talk show. And had a psych in the air. I took ear steps and said, I am flying home. Oh, this is wonderful. Star thing. I'm getting this food. I need some food. I'm flat thrown in a pit. So, uh, that is the God Warrior. Um, check it out. I'm gonna leave the link in the description area. So, uh, check out that video clip to see her in action. But, uh, she reminds me of a dark side of Scorpio, like for real. Like, cause maybe a dark side of Scorpio sun where her Mercury is in Sagittarius, that would explain the religious component and also her loud mouth and just her fiery temper. But, uh, the thing with uh, Scorpio, when Scorpio becomes very religious, they can get dark sided where they become obsessed with their religion. They take it too far. They take it to extremes like this woman did. So I was just like, wow, she's saying all this dark side. She don't want dark sided people in her house, but she don't even realize that she's dark sided, very dark sided. So uh, some of those religious nuts, they could be some of the uh, most dark sided people around because they will justify anything in the name of their God. So, um, yeah, that was my inspiration. So let me get into the comments right away because there uh, were a lot of comments for both the female video and the male video that were very interesting. Some of them were very intense. So let's get into it. 
So we're going to start off with the dark side of Scorpio female, Queens of the Damned, better grab your crucifix. This video received 271 likes, 58 dislikes. CJ Randolph wrote, well, 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 I need to reflect more on my behavior traits. I didn't realize how dark my sign could be. Team Scorpio. Mel CM wrote, one of the most dark signs, I believe, most jealous people ever. Angela Ortiz wrote, LOL, dang girl, I'm a Scorpio, this is making me feel evil and shit. King JJ wrote, I'm a Capricorn, and I seem to attract a lot of Scorpio women, both good and bad, and this video is 100% accurate. With these women, we you always got to stay on your game, because if not, you will pay the price. Any weakness in your game can and will be used against you. Keep your foot on her neck always. That received 10 likes. Octa Octavia Freeman wrote, I'm a Scorpio woman, and most of the stuff you are saying is so untrue. It takes me a year to get mad at someone. I don't believe in child support. I don't believe in taking someone's man either. Ew. That received nine likes. Daisy Fields wrote, it's time for dark-sided Sagittarius females. Surely you're not perfect. Check out my dark-sided Sagittarius female video. It's in my uh, video uh, list. Miss Mimi 3102 wrote, I don't think I'm totally dark-sided Scorpio female, but some of these traits do come out sometimes. I laughed so hard when you talked about us attracting vermin. It's true. I find spiders everywhere, no matter how I clean up, how clean I keep my place or my car. I also notice that I tend to be bothered by flies way more than other people when I'm outdoors. And speaking of spiritual activity, my parents told me about a time when I was younger, when I was very sensitive and once picked up on a negative spirit attached to a doll I had. Thanks for sharing this info. It's almost scary how true it is. Thank you, Miss Mimi, for confirming what I said about uh, Scorpio's attracting vermin. Agnes Oz wrote, I was completely drained of energy from a pessimistic Scorpio. I'm a Pisces and usually upbeat and optimistic, but every time I had a conversation with her, I would feel that our mood switch. She left the interaction seemingly upbeat and I was down. I just had to leave for my own good. She was supportive, but it wasn't worth it. Oh, and she would also give unsolicited advice and say, I told you what to do, but you didn't listen. But I didn't ask what to do. So, yeah, what you were experiencing experiencing was that uh, psychic vampire uh, shit that uh, Dark Side Scorpios have. And that will drain you of all your positive energy. Uh, Hilly Dodds wrote, one thing about Dark Side of Scorpios, both men and women, is that they intentionally or unintentionally set curses upon people they hate. And trust me, the victim would know when the curse befalls them. A dark sided Scorpio guy even confessed doing similar things, and they kind of take pride in it because they think it's powerful. They're just creating hell for themselves. D. Piscean 45 wrote, Wow, you describe my big sister in most of it. She's a Scorpio. We live in the same apartments, and we don't talk anymore because of her craziness. She needs mental help. She admits it, but won't get it, and it has wreaked havoc on our family. Kiki Wilson wrote, I don't think that's really fair for you to say because you could get an STD from anyone. You need to wear a condom with any sign, not just Scorpio or Dark Sided Scorpio. However, most of this is true. I was a Dark Sided Scorpio during my teenage years, and a lot of that stuff I let go, like getting back at a person for something instead. I'll just leave them alone, and jealousy doesn't seem to exist anymore either because I realize that God won't give me anything if I'm jealous of someone. So I'm much better now, and it does feel good. LMAO, but I must admit with my spooky ass, I do love funerals. Not when it's a close family member, but for the most part, yeah, I do. Call me crazy, I guess, but I'm the phoenix now instead of the dark side of Scorpio. And maybe you could do a video on that because not everyone stays dark side of all their lives. And in your case, you're wondering, I am a Scorpio sun and rising with Venus and Scorpio also. So I was double trouble when I was younger, but now... No, I won't fuck my friend's man. I actually value friendships now and would never want to hurt someone I love in that way. Well, thank you, Kiki Wilson, for confirming some of what I uh, spoke about in the video. And also, I'm glad that you are now embodying the Phoenix uh, representation of uh, Scorpio, which is the lightest aspect of Scorpio. So uh, more power to you. Um, Jay Fever wrote, oh my god, I was messing with a dark Scorpio woman and her house was always dirty and I contacted bed bugs from her that fucked with me mentally. Mary Blue wrote, my sis a Scorpio and I can't stand the evil of her and selfish. I'm a Virgo. You have to really know how to hurt these people in order to be respected. 
Ashley Hodges wrote LMFAO. Yo, what? Where do you get this shit from? LOL, you sound like you were bullied by a Scorpio, fucked over by some, or had your man taken by one. Something. Sheesh. God forbid someone actually listens to this shit. LOL, shaking my head. Y'all take some of this shit entirely too far. You can find a woman that fits each and every description you just gave in a woman of every sign. Nikki W. wrote, what type of foolishness is this? I think you took this video way too far. You tried it. Monique Daniels wrote, I think you mad because a Scorpio woman got your man. That's why you so mad because you're ugly as fuck. Oh, uh, Monique Daniels, she uh took a few digs at me, but I only uh copied this one down. But yeah, she she's mad because I must have uh, struck a chord within her with some of what I said. Maybe when I talked about the uh, coochie problem. Lil Lady Homicide, keyword, uh, emphasis on homicide, uh, Scorpio homicide. Uh, she wrote, I'm a Scorpio woman, but I'm emotionally mature. I've learned that an insecure Scorpio is really scary because I've come across many. They will secretly destroy you while seemingly being uninvolved. Plus, a dark-sided Scorpio has the potential to commit murder. Mm. Crystal Ball wrote, you know what, Rabina? You definitely crossed the Scorpio woman and she scoot. <laughs> Wait, I gotta read this over. <laughs> Crystal Ball wrote, You know what, Rabina? And the way she spelled my name, she's like, You know what, Rabina? You definitely crossed the Scorpio woman and she skewered your black lipped ass. Or you definitely hate them and don't wish them well. I could only imagine what your sign is. Well, I'm a Sagittarius. And uh, I did put on some dark lipstick just because I'm doing the uh, Scorpio recap. And I purposely put on very dark lipstick for that uh, dark side Scorpio female video. So it's funny that she uh, noticed that uh, Scorpio is very perceptive. Um, Murdered the GB wrote, look at her smile at the end. She truly enjoyed making this video. Ha ha. Yeah, I did. But I enjoyed making all the videos. And matter of fact, I might have to do a part one and a part two of this because there's so many Scorpio comments. Um, I might be back to do the mail separately. So um, if I find that this is like going over like 25 minutes, then I'm going to do a part two. Elizabeth V wrote, I have a rising in Scorpio and I have most of these traits. Angelic Baby wrote, the dark side of the female Scorpio, you're extremely harsh on us. I do admit to having all of these thoughts you say but it doesn't mean i will lose control of myself and actually do it that's where you are wrong about our dark side also we may think horrible things but it doesn't necessarily mean we will do it also yes i get thoughts of getting my friends boyfriends so instead of flirting or talking with them i pretend they don't exist that's very scorpion pretending that someone doesn't exist also, yes, I have thoughts of cheating on my partner, but he is willing to comply to my fantasy, so I don't feel the need to. If I was going through a psychotic breakdown and completely lost myself, I might do these things, but even then, I gather myself quickly. That's the one thing about Scorpio. Scorpio is very resilient, and Scorpio can bounce back like no other sign from uh, misfortune and from uh, tragedy, and also from addiction as well. Patricia Home wrote, you are spot on with Dark Side of Scorpio. It sounds crazy, but it's true. Marvin Lewis wrote, Scorpio ladies don't get offended by this. It's not all Scorpio women, but some of them. I see some of these comments. LOL, y'all so butthurt. Butterfly wrote, the astral realms where, where a lot of demons like to hang out. I was rolling on the floor. This is some real shit. She was quoting me about what I said about Scorpio and the um, astral realm and how uh, Dark Side of Scorpio attracts demonic entities. Crystal Ball wrote, now that you done dog and Scorpios, go fuck one. Some woman you are. Well, Crystal, I must uh, uh, you know what they say, the loudest dog is the one that got hit. So maybe I, um, you know, touched on some things that, you know, you feel kind of sensitive about. Sorry, not sorry. Raya Jackson wrote, wow, I love pain. I have a lot of tattoos. Lady, T Lady Tasha wrote, you bold as fuck. Why you play us like that? LOL, shaking my head. Amanda Williams, on point as usual. My mom's a Scorpio and we just can't get along. I love her. I think she loves me, but damn. She always got some kind of bullshit up her sleeve. My goodness, drives me nuts. Again, Sag is my sign. I can't talk to her about shit, but I'm stuck with her for life. That's what she know too. Right on, real shit, 1000. Thank you, Amanda. Marvin Lewis wrote, 
Oh, I already wrote, uh, read Marvin Lewis comment. Oh no, he wrote something again. So Marvin Lewis wrote, I love my scorpion women. They are my weakness because I'm a Taurus. I do agree with the majority of this info because my ex is a Scorpio and she was a big ass freak and very emotional. It was a turn on, but it got out of hand when we broke up and she stalked me at my job. If I was still with her to this day, ain't no telling what have happened to her or me. LOL. Hell yeah. Taurus Scorpio can be a very tumultuous relationship when things get ugly. Because you know how Taurus can be, like, once they're, like, finally pushed to the limit, they can snap and just become, like, that raging bull. So, yeah. F.H. wrote, my adorable self heard you say water sports. And I was like, yay, I like swimming. Then I heard the rest of it and was like, oh, hell no. Nah. This had me <laughs> cracking up most of the time. Some of this mess applied when I was younger, but most don't now. So many dynamics go into who you are, and once you're evolved, you rarely dabble in the low side again. However, I am violent, a fighter, and have had road rage at times, but that's probably due to my sad descendant, Venus, and Moon. And I'm the type who gets happy when others succeed because life ain't a competition. I just focus on being better than who I was yesterday. But once I'm crossed, especially after trusting you, I like to put my hands on you and make you regret your wrongdoing. But God can punish far greater than I can. This has been proven. So thanks for the laughs, dear. I needed to chuckle this AM. Well, you're welcome, FH, and thank you for uh, your comment and for confirming for a lot of what I said. I'm glad that you're no longer dark-sided, so more power to you. Candace Cook wrote, okay, I had to grab a cup of tea for this. I guess I am a dark-sided Scorpio. Many of these traits apply to me, but I have a ton of self-control, so things that I may have a tendency towards, I don't participate. I have always had a man for as long as I can remember. I marry young and my hubby is always around. I rarely go out with female friends. If I do, I have a male friend coming to meet me. I agree Scorpios are jealous, but I'm not jealous of other success or if they are doing well or have nice things, especially if we are friends or fam. I want my circle to do well. I'm always on a mission to do better, so I expect these around me, them around me to do well. I do play devil's advocate, but only as a means to help people look at things from both perspectives. It's usually helpful to, uh, during my counsel and support. Okay, that's what I do agree with. I know if it don't apply, let it fly. But let me just say, yes, we deal in genitals, which is why I pay particular close detail to my genitalia. I have never had an STD. I got three to four yeast infections in my lifetime during my teen years. But it was because I was douching too much after my menstrual or sex. My doctor told me to stop, and ever since, I've never had an issue. I'm obsessed with smelling good, clean ass, and pussy. Never had any critters in my house, no roaches, mice, spiders. Okay, maybe ants in the spring, summer, but I get rid of them within a couple of days. Good points here, and a little hard to hear some of it and the tone behind it, but I can't deny the things that apply, which is a lot of it. The other things have potential, black magic. Black Widow, Host for Demons, Polly Amherst. My mom is a Scorpio, but I think she is not a dark-sided one. She scrutinizes a lot of things I think and do, always have, but she understands me like no other. Well, thank you, Candice, for your detailed uh, comment and also for confirming what I, uh, some of what I said in the video. And I'm glad that you are no longer, well, you said you're a dark-sided Scorpio, but you don't see, you seem like you have a pretty good handle on your dark energy. Ariel Paradise Row, on point, period, point blank. You just described my mama to the T. Thank you, Ariel. Daisha Sullivan Row, I feel as if you know me. I'm a Scorpio born on October 28th. The sugar daddy part, power hungry part, vindictive part, and almost everything else is spot on. So you share a, a birthday with my sister. Uh, she's a Scorpio, October 28th. Akim son of Zadouk wrote, I am an Aries, April 8th, man, and get a little intimidated by Scorpio women, which is rare for me because I don't get intimidated by no one. They have a way of bringing me deep into my emotions. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, Basically, Aries is no match for Scorpio. Uh, M. Tasha wrote, Manipulative, crazed power, masculine energy, jealous, vindictive, devil's advocate, makes you second-guess yourself, hypercritical, OCD, self-destructive, negative attention seeker. She's a manager, tries to badly influence my young daughter, and so much more. That's my mom. I believe she's a uh, she has a personality disorder, although she still deserves love. Aw, Tasha, you're sweet. 
Big P222 wrote, wow, that was some scary shit. Charity Makubo wrote, and a lot of those things are not true, girl. Seems like you have problems with Scorpios. Did they take your man? What's up with all the Scorpio women uh, saying that so Scorpio chick took my man? So basically, they're confirming what I said about Scorpio, dark side Scorpio chicks taking chicks man. So, uh, wow. So thanks for confirming that, ladies. Spiritual Scorpio wrote, a Scorpio must have wronged you because some of this shit is crazy. What you are saying, and none of this is true, but a, what, but one percent shaking my head. Chris O one eleven eighteen wrote, "Holy crap! That's why I cut." Cause in the video I talk about how uh, dark sided Scorpio is prone to cutting as a way to uh, relieve pain, cause they gotta feel deeply. Yes, the pain gives me something else to focus on. Yep, I quit cigarettes like that. So I also talk about how uh, Scorpio, they can um, be some of the most hardcore drug addicts, but they can also quit cold turkey if they really want to. Aki Wink wrote, sometimes I feel more Scorpio than a Scorpio because I have my son in the eighth house and Pluto in my first house. I have bipolar disorder and I do say very extreme things when I get upset. I tell people to go to hell and describe exactly what I hope will happen to them there. I tell them I will murder them in their sleep and so much more. I wish I had a gun to kill everyone and myself sometimes. I'm very happy that I have controlled myself and not have let myself premeditate my psychotic violent episodes. I am very jealous and I love making my friends less happy than they usually are, making them doubt their happiness with a new relationship or job or happy accident. I absolutely love negativity. I have yet to find a man who could verbally abuse me more than I can abuse them. And I need that to get off in bed. So essentially, I've never orgasmed. I need someone to treat me like my dad treated me. I would love if someone controlled when I urinate and defecate the way my dad did. Anal sex is the best, but my ass now has hemorrhoids that hurt like hell from it. I do always pull the suicide card on my friends and family when I don't get what I want. Rats, roaches, old eye moldy smells, and currently seven black cats live in my front yard, so I have the vermin problem. I look like a witch. I feel demonic presences in my house, shadows in the corners of my eyes, but that could just be my paranoia, paranoia becoming reality. I wish I wasn't into dark shit. I wish I wasn't the resentful, spiteful bitch that wants to kill her family and herself. I didn't choose this placement or this life. I really want to fade into oblivion. It's not so much that I want to die. I just don't want to exist. I think these thoughts are what makes us host to demons, to be honest. Well, okay, so I'm definitely going to have a part two dealing with the males because this video is ending on a um, on a very sober note. And it's like, wow. But this basically shows you how extreme uh, Dark Sided Scorpio can be. And um, Aki Wink, if you're watching this, I hope that you can find some help and get some therapy and um recover from your early trauma but uh yeah this is really serious basically she just uh detail a lot of what i said in the video um a lot of this sounds kind of far-fetched so i don't know you know if this is really you know what is really going on i would hope it's not but it, you know some people do experience severe pain and trauma like this and especially scorpio so the thing with Scorpio is Scorpio always needs an outlet. You always need to release that energy because if you don't, it's going to continue to compound upon itself and you will, uh, continue, you will end up being self-destructive or destructive outwardly where you end up, you know, hurting others. Um, so yeah, I know I joke around a lot and I make light of a lot of things, but, um, that last comment, you know, it's serious and it really, it kind of, you know, got to me. So um, that's just a perfect example of how dark-sided Scorpio can be and how they can just be a prisoner to their own emotional landscape. So I hope you found this uh, enlightening, insightful, um, entertaining, and also um, something to really think about. So uh, stay tuned for part two of this recap Scorpio edition where I get into the comments for the mails. If you would like a reading, you can go to my website, www.rabina.com. Click order reading at the top. 
I also provide um, a free numerology reading if you would like that as well. That's on the home page. Just scroll down till you see free numerology reading, and I'll be at your service. Peace and many blessings.